20 years ago, the philosopher Nick Bostrom gave us his simulation argument, where he argued that it's not only possible that we're living in the matrix-like simulation, but that it's the most likely scenario. Bostrom's argument uses probability theory, and it goes like this. If we assume that there's a near infinite number of possible civilizations in a near infinite universe, then it takes only one of these civilizations to be technologically advanced and willing enough to create simulated minds like yours and mine. Eventually, one civilization will be able to create the matrix and make it work. Once we've established that a civilization can create simulated minds in a simulated universe as we live in it right now, we can assume there's practically no limit to how many they can create. It's like imagining how a computer game might spawn billions of minds in a nanosecond. Why stop at one simulated universe? They're too easy, useful and fun. Create millions. Create billions. This means that the universe is populated by two kinds of minds, the real and physical minds and simulated by technology minds, and that there's far, far more of the latter. This being so, it's much more likely that we are one of the simulated minds than the rare single instance of a physical super advanced civilization in the real world. In other words, it's much more likely that you and your thoughts are a simulation because it's easier to simulate a mind than to create one.